hello everyone so today in this video we are going to solve some problems based on emr emr is nothing but electromagnetic radiation so in one of the video i am uh, going to explain this radiation in detail as of now we are going to concentrate only on finding the energy of that uh, radiation and just uh, going to remind you that this has both of the nature particle and wave so this light contains both of the features it can flow like wave and as a particle its energy can be quantized so let us go ahead with how to solve numericals based on energy frequency wavelength etc of electromagnetic radiation let us see the first question now in the first question it is provided that the wavelength wavelength is represented as lambda so here it says that the lambda is 2.5 mu you have to find out wave number wave number is represented as nu and we have to find out what is nu of this particular radiation and that too the unit is centimeter inverse now just to remind you that whenever there is a wave it flows like this and whenever it flows like this these are the crests and these are the troughs now the distance between two crests or two troughs is known as wavelength so we know the distance here is 2.5 mu what they are asking is wave number which is number of uh, waves which are passing through particular uh, space like let's say 1 cm so how many waves are passing that is wave number and just to uh, tell you that wave number is inverse proportional to that of like wavelength so you may call it as uh, this so if i want to know in centimeter inverse that means this lambda should be in centimeters but right now it is in mu so i'll tell you how to convert all these things and you may write uh, this if the wavelength is represented in terms of am strong you can any time convert it, it like this 10 to the power minus 8 similarly if it is in newton meter it would be 10 to the power minus 9 meter and that you may call it as 1 m mu 2 and that means 1 mu is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 centimeter so now if i substitute the value of the wavelength here it is 2.5 mu wherein i need to convert it into centimeter so i'll simply write 10 to the power minus 4 here and that is going to give me the answer which is nothing but 4000 centimeter inverse so i'll say that for this particular emr the wave number is 4000 centimeter inverse provided the wavelength is 2.5 mu i think you are able to understand this now let us go ahead with one step more now if in this question the wavelength range is given that means the wavelength range lambda 1 is given as 3800 Armstrong and lambda 2 is given as 7600 Armstrong. Now you have to calculate the corresponding frequency. Frequency is nothing but the cycles which passes per second. So if the wave is passing like this for a particular uh, point cycles per second is nothing but your frequency how many crests are moving from a particular place per second so that is what we want to know now nu is equal to c by lambda that is the equation which we are going to use now here the c uh, portion says it is velocity of light and that is quite fixed you may write it as 2.9 into 10 to the power 10 centimeter second inverse and you may take it as 3 also like if you want to take it in a round off manner and then I have to substitute this is 3800 Armstrong but I convert it into centimeter by writing 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter now when you solve this you will be able to get 7.8 into 10 to the power 14 
second inverse and as i said it is cycles per second so second inverse is the unit of frequency or rather you may convert it into hertz also so at the same time you may write it as 7.8 into 10 to the power 14 hertz that is also the unit to represent a frequency now coming to the second portion of this range which is lambda to 7600 now if you follow the same procedure c by lambda and if i substitute the values like 2.99 into 10 to the power 10 followed by 7600 into 10 to the power minus 8 i am not writing the units again as i expect that you have understood the units here and then i am writing the direct answer here so here you have got the answer 7.8 and 3.9 hertz so you may say that the corresponding frequency range is 7.8 into 10 to the power 14 to 3.93 into 10 to the power 14 hertz so you may simply see that the wavelength is increasing and the frequency is decreasing they are inversely proportional so let us go ahead with this and now we'll solve the third type of the question uh, let uh, me change the color of my ink so that to give you a new flavor now you have to calculate the energy associated with the radiation and the wavelength given is this so first we have to write whatever is given to us so the given per uh, thing is 4000 amps strong and now i convert it into centimeter to make my equations and calculations easier so i'll quickly write it in centimeters now your aim is to find out energy and as i said energy is equal to hc by lambda wherein h is a Planck constant so it's a Planck constant and its value is almost fixed which is 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 27 erg second when you term it in, in uh, case of another unit the value remains same joule second 10 to the power minus 34 right now i'm taking it in ergs and if i write here the value of c remains same as i said that it is 3 10 to the power 10 centimeter per second and now i have to substitute lambda which i have already calculated in terms of centimeter so now if you calculate all these things you will be able to get 4.968 into 10 to the power minus 12 ergs now that is in ergs i want to change it to kilocalorie per mole fine so now since since 4.18 into 10 to the power 7 erg is equal to 1 calorie, I want to check it. I want to convert it into its kilocalorie. So, we have to again uh, write it in uh, this form. So, this is nothing but your E. Up till now, we have got it in ergs. And now, we are converting it into kilocalorie per mole. So, for that, we have to multiply this much ergs 10 to the power minus 12 you have got here and then you have to multiply it by per mole because you need per mole so you need to use Avogadro constant number right if you remember Avogadro constant Avogadro's number is 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 so per mole i need to find out that's why i am multiplying it with number of moles and then to convert it into calorie uh, we need to divide it by 4.18 10 to the power 7 ergs and when we do so uh, we need to multiply it with kilocalorie so 10 to the power 3 so what we are going to get is e is equal to 71.6 kilocalories per mole this is the final answer of your energy in kilocalorie per mole. Now, do remember that 1 kilocalorie is equal to 4.184 kilojoule. So, what I want now in kilojoules per mole also. So, the energy will become 71.6 from here. We'll multiply it with 4.184 
and that will give me 299.5 kilojoule per mole answer so i have got my second answer from here and now i have left this place to do it in an another manner too so what we are going to do here is here we have used arc second now i'll show you that you can anyhow use joule per uh, joule second also that unit also like if you are uh, well versed with the calculations you will find it easier so h 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second i have used arc per second here yeah joule second same rest all of the things remain same the value is this only and then i have to divide it by uh, lambda which was nothing but 4000 into 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter and this will give me energy in joules and that is 4.968 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule i have to convert it into kilojoule so that is 4.968 into 10 to the power minus 19 multiply by 10 to the power minus 3 to change it into kilojoule sorry and then uh, we'll go ahead with the same thing but i have to write it in kilojoule per mole right the question asked you to find it in kilojoule per mole so this is kilojoule and now you have to convert it into per mole so 4.968 into 10 to the power minus uh, 19 into 10 to the power minus 3 and that whole thing you have to multiply with avogadro constant which we have already seen here 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 mole inverse so now if you simply multiply it you will almost get this kind of answer and that is uh, kilo joule per mole so it's like almost similar but almost some kind of decimal places you may uh, see the variations because depending on so many constants and so many values we are using so using these two concepts and using h value in arc second and joule second you may uh, calculate the energies in different different um, units now let us see one more type of uh, numerical in which they may ask you to find out the energy in terms of electron volt also like here uh, let me change the color for having a different uh, look now so now if in this question if you see uh, we are going to have three kind of uh, answers in kilocalorie in kilojoule and in electron volt so uh, let's start so lambda here is uh, the value says is 280 mu so very quickly i will convert it into centimeters so it is minus 7 centimeters now again using the same equation e is equal to hc by lambda i will uh, be using uh, this uh, in arc second or like that so if i use it in arc second 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 27 arc second and multiply by 2.99 into 10 to the power 10 centimeter second inverse and if you divide it by the lambda which is nothing but 280 to 10 to the power minus 7 and this will give you energy in ergs and if you want to calculate it in kilocalorie per mole the energy which you get in ergs is 0 six nine into ten to the power minus twelve ergs if you will solve it you will get this answer only and you just multiply it with avogadro number right and then you divide it by your four point one eight into ten to the power ten ergs a kilo calorie inverse so finally you will get one zero one point eight kilo calorie per mole right and alternatively uh, to find out in kilojoule per mole uh, you have to multiply it with 4.184 so the final answer would be 425.9 kilojoule mole inverse now if i ask you to convert it into electron volt what you have to do is to uh, follow the procedure but that too in uh, 
joule second right that would be easy for us to uh, calculate so i am just uh, getting the things done so let us start with the next sort of calculations wherein i'll be using that in terms of joule so let us start with that so now here lc by lambda i'll start using that joule 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule second into 2.99 into 10 to the power 10 centimeter second inverse and that divide by 280 into 10 to the power minus 7 centimeter and that will give me 7.06 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule. So this is the energy I am getting in joule. Right? And then I can uh, convert it into kilojoule and then kilojoule per mole. So energy in kilojoule per mole would be the way we have done it in the last numerical. Similarly, we have to do it. So 10 to the power minus 3 for obviously kilojoule. So I'll write kilojoule. And then multiply by 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 and that in like mole inverse right and then I'll be getting my answer in kilojoule mole inverse easily right so I have got this so what I've done is I've calculated in this I've calculated in this but now this is left now let to uh, let me tell you 1 electron volt is equal to 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule. And now energy in electron volt would be your joule value was this. So I will write this value 7.06 into 10 to the power minus 19 joule. And then I will divide it with this value 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 JEV1 and that will give me energy is equal to 4.4 electron volt. So that is how you can calculate the energy in uh, different different units. So uh, let me change the color. Okay, so now using this equation, using either joule second value or arc second value you may calculate it in energy in kilocalorie per mole kilojoule per mole and electron volt normally these three units are only asked so just to have a quick uh, revision of what we have done is uh, using this equation they may ask you to calculate lambda or e or nu which is nothing but frequency these three things uh, they may ask ultimately you have to use this equation only and that is quite easy and in the very first slide i have shown you how to convert it into one unit to another so i think it would be now easier for you to attempt these questions and solve it so uh, this is all uh, from my side uh, do let me know in the comment section uh, if any improvement or any specific topic you want me to take and uh, thank you for listening keep liking and subscribing thank you so much